Hello and welcome to quiz class. Today you will be playing a 100 question quiz on the 1950s. Please share your score in the comments. We'd love to hear how you did. What impactful tool did television utilize to manipulate consumer habits in the 1950s? Advertising messages, popular influence, culture, or biased political statements? Advertising messages. Despite the rise of television, what other forms of entertainment continued to captivate audiences during the 1950s? Theater, comics, or radio? Radio. Which popular show featured a masked cowboy hero and his trusty sidekick Tonto? Dragnet, Lone Ranger, or Johnny Dollar? Lone Ranger is the answer. Question four. What was the golden age of Hollywood known for? Sensational information sharing, political advancement, or iconic actors and actresses? Iconic actors and actresses. What form of entertainment became a household staple in the 1950s? Radio? theme parks, or television? Television. What genre of music emerged in the 1950s, combining elements from country, gospel, and rhythm and blues? Blues, R&B, or rock and roll? Rock and roll. Which productions were popular during the golden age of Broadway? Faber, McGee, and Molly, and yours truly, South Pacific and My Fair Lady, or Red Lipstick and Grease? South Pacific and My Fair Lady. What were some popular youth fashion trends in the 1950s? Leather jackets and saddle shoes, pencil skirts and bikinis, or apple bottom jeans and boots with fur. Pencil skirts and bikinis is the answer. Where were sock hop dances held? Nightclubs or jazz halls, coffee houses and lounges, or school gyms or local community centers? school gyms, or local community centers. Which genre of music experienced a significant shift during the 1950s? Hip hop, jazz, or rock and roll? Jazz is the answer. What style of jazz emerged during the 1950s? Blues, swing, or bebop? Bebop is the answer. Question 12. Where did jazz clubs flourish in the 1950s? Urban places like New York City and Chicago, suburban neighborhoods, or rural areas and townships? Urban places like New York City and Chicago. Who were some influential jazz musicians during the 1950s? Michael Jackson and Prince, Elvis Presley and Frank Sinatra, or Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie? Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie is the answer. Question 14. How did the growth of professional sports in the 1950s impact entertainment? Merchandising declined during this era, no impact, or both sides fueled engagement. Both sides fueled engagement. What role did family board games and pastimes play in the 1950s? 
popularity was declining. They brought families together. They were enjoyed by children and teenagers. They brought families together. What marked a significant turning point for entertainment in the 50s? The advent of theme parks, introduction of board games, or video games were introduced. The advent of theme parks. Which theme park opened its gates on July 17, 1955? Six Flags, Universal Studios, or Disneyland? Disneyland. What unique and innovative blend did Disneyland offer to its visitors? Immersive experiences and storytelling, live performances, snacks and refreshments, thrilling roller coaster rides, and water slides. Immersive experiences and storytelling. What technological advancements improved ride design during the 1950s? Elaborate animatronics, electronic circuit controller, laser cutting, and 3D printing. Elaborate animatronics is the answer. Question 20. What did theme parks symbolize in post-war America? Facing fear and uncertainty, optimism and prosperity, or nostalgia and longing? Optimism and prosperity. What dance style became popular in the 1950s? Hip hop, swing dancing, or ballet? Swing dancing is the answer. What European folk dance gained popularity in the 50s? Salsa, tango, or polka? Polka is the answer. Who was a prominent figure in television during the 50s? Marilyn Monroe? Elvis Presley or Lucille Ball? And Lucille Ball is the answer. Question 24. What was one of the reasons for the decline in movie ticket sales in the 1950s? The popularity of television, the emergence of method acting, or the rise of 3D movies? the popularity of television. Who were some of the first generation TV stars in the 1950s? Frank Sinatra, Perry Como, and Dinah Shore, Milton Berle, Sid Caesar, and Jackie Gleason, or Martin Smith, W.J. Brown, and Allen Ginsberg. Milton Berle, Sid Caesar, and Jackie Gleason. What major art trend saw its peak in the 1950s? Impressionism, Realism or Abstract Expressionism? Abstract Expressionism. What was the biggest trends in literature during the 1950s? Increase of entrance in science fiction, popularity of historical fiction, or the rise of romantic novels? The increase of interest in science fiction. What was one of the criticisms of rock and roll music in the 1950s? It was loud and unsophisticated. It lacked rhythm and blues influences, or it originated on Broadway. It was loud and unsophisticated. What was one of the reasons for the increase in the interest in science fiction literature in the 1950s? The dawn of the atomic age, boredom towards romantic novels, or the rise of abstract expressionism in art? The dawn of the atomic age. Who popularized rock and roll by playing it on the radio in Cleveland? 
Chuck Berry, Alan Freed, or Elvis Presley. Alan Freed. Which song by Billy Haley and, and the Comets became an anthem for Teenage Rebellion in the 1950s? Johnny Be Good, Rock Around the Clock, or Hound Dog? Rock Around the Clock is the answer. Question 32. What did many adults think of rock and roll in the 50s? Dislike, they saw it as a threat to American values, they showed indifference, or they loved it. Dislike, they saw it as a threat to American values. What new techniques did filmmakers try in response to the challenges faced by Hollywood? Silent films, black and white cinematography, or cinemascope and cinerama? Cinemascope and Cinerama. What types of programs were broadcast on television in the 1950s? News programs and documentaries, reality TV news and sitcoms, or a huge variety including soaps and cartoons? A huge variety including soaps and cartoons. What values were reinforced by popular culture in the 50s? individualism, rebellion, and nonconformity, social justice, equality, and diversity, faith, patriotism, and compliance. Faith, patriotism, and compliance is the answer. What comic strip debuted in seven United States papers in 1950? Peanuts, Droopy, or Snoopy? Peanuts is the answer. Which soap operas premiered on CBS in 1951? Search for Tomorrow and Love of Life, Gunsmoke and American Bandstand, I Love Lucy, and See It Now. Search for Tomorrow and Love of Life is the answer. Which Western drama became the longest running primetime TV show with continuing characters? I Love Lucy, The Tonight Show, or Gunsmoke? Gunsmoke is the answer. Question 39. Which popular teen-oriented music program debuted as a local show in Philadelphia in 1952? American Bandstand, The $64,000 Question, or the Today Show? American Bandstand. Which magazine became the first mass market men's magazines in 1953? Playboy, TV Guide, or The Times? Playboy is the answer. Question 41. Who was the first black singer to appear at the Metropolitan Opera? James Dean, Marian Anderson, or Barclay Johnson? And Marian Anderson is the answer. Which feature film included the rock and roll song, Rock Around the Clock on its soundtrack? West Side Story, 21, or The Blackboard Jungle? The Blackboard Jungle is the answer. When was the first public reading of Allen Ginsberg's controversial poem, Howl? 1951, 1955, or 1959? 1955. Who became the director of the New York Philharmonic in 1958? Buddy Holly, Leonard Bernstein, or Frank Lloyd Wright? Leonard Bernstein is the answer. When did the 
Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum open in New York in 1951, 1955, or 1959? In 1959. What was a popular location for leisure activity in the 50s? Shopping malls, drive-in theaters, or amusement parks? Drive-in theaters is the answer. Who was recognized as both a fashion and film icon in the 50s? Audrey Hepburn, Elizabeth Taylor, or Marilyn Monroe? Audrey Hepburn. What was the first TV dinner introduced in the 50s? Thanksgiving of 53, Christmas of 54, or Easter of 1955? Thanksgiving of 1953. What major event occurred in the 50s that led to civil rights protests? Montgomery bus boycott, Korean War, or Brown versus the Board of Education. Brown versus the Board of Education. Who was the undisputed queen, king of rock and roll in the 50s? Chuck Berry, Little Richard, or Elvis Presley? And of course, that's Elvis Presley. Question 51. Which U.S. president was elected during the 50s? John F. Kennedy, Richard Nixon, or Dwight Eisenhower? Dwight Eisenhower is the answer. Which movie released in the 50s won 11 Academy Awards? Gone with the Wind, Casablanca, or Ben-Hur? Ben Hur. What genre of music had a significant influence on the entertainment industry in the 50s? Country music, R&B music, or classical music? R&B music. Who were the first black musicians to win Grammy Awards in 1959? Ray Charles and Aretha Franklin, Louis Armstrong and Duke Ellington, or Ella Fitzgerald and Count Basie? Ella Fitzgerald and Count Basie. According to writer Robert Palmer, what was rock and roll an outburst of? Youth culture, interactions between blacks and whites, or rebellion against authority? interactions between blacks and whites. What was the first logo of the Walt Disney Company? Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella Castle, Mickey Mouse or Walt Disney Pictures in writing? Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella Castle. What was the name of the popular TV show that reflected the sense of happy normalcy in America and debuted in 1957? Father Knows Best, Leave it to Beaver, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. And Leave it to Beaver is the answer. Question 58. What 50s television show was retitled to The Danny Thomas Show in 1957? Make Way? Make Room for Daddy, or Father Knows Best. Make Room for Daddy. What was America's first sports weekly called? Sports America, USA Today, or Sports Illustrated? Sports Illustrated. 
Which 1950 drama comedy starred Betty Davis, Ann Baxter, Marilyn Monroe, and George Sanders? Sunset Boulevard, Vertigo, or All About Eve? All About Eve. Who released Heartbreak Hotel in 1956, the first on his new record label? James Brown, Little Richard, or Elvis Presley? Elvis Presley. Which Chevrolet car model became an instant hit in 1955? Bel Air, Thunderbird, or Skylark? The Bel Air. Question 63. Probably the fastest and coolest car of the 1950s what was the top speed of the Aston Martin DB4 GT? 122, 153, or 167 miles per hour? 153 miles per hour. What was the genre of the 1954 film Rear Window? Comedy drama, thriller mystery, or crime drama? Thriller Mystery is the answer. Who released the song Please, Please, Please in 1958? The Flamingos, The Five Satins, or James Brown? James Brown. What song did The Five Satins release in 1956? Only You? Earth Angel, or In the Still of the Night? In the Still of the Night. What was the American TV show Dragnet about? Cross-dressing, racing, or crime? Crime is the answer. Question 68. With Eileen Woods voicing the main character, what film was produced by Walt Disney in 1950? Cinderella, Peter Pan, or The Mickey Mouse Adventures? Cinderella. Who released the iconic hit La Bamba in 1958? Richie Valens, Little Richie, or Richie Rich? Richie Valens. Question 70. Who won the Academy Award for Best Original Song for the song Love is a Many Splendored Thing? The Four Aces, Bob Lee, or The Chords? The Four Aces. Which artist recorded the song Wanted for Questioning? The Chords, Bob Lee, or Elvis Presley? Bob Lee is the answer. Question 72. Which song is known as being the breakthrough smash of the chords? Shaboom? Shablan or She's My Girl. Shaboom is the answer. Question 73. Who recorded the song Mamwana Kafika Munda? My Love is Upset. Tony Bennett, Clarence Frogman Henry, Elinda Patrice, Misamba Victor and Friends. Linda Patrice, Misamba Victor, and Friends. What was Tony Bennett's first major hit song? Train Kept a Rollin' Because of You or Ain't Got No Home? Because of You. Who 
turned the song Train Kept a Rollin' into one of the best songs of the 50s. Johnny Burnett and the Rock and Roll Trio, Tony Bennett, or Clarence Frogman Henry. Clarence Frogman Henry. Which artist popularized the phrase, cry me a river? Marius Constant, Joanne James, or Julie London? Julie London. Which artist is known for the song, Ain't Got No Home? Ilunga Patrice, Tony Bennett, or Clarence Frogman Henry? Clarence Frogman Henry. Who composed the song, Shall We Dance? Rogers and Hammerstein, Julie London, or Glenn Miller? Rogers and Hammerstein. Which composer wrote the Twilight Zone theme song? Marius Constant, Bob Lee, or Misomba Victor? Marius Constant is the answer. Question 80. Which French director was praised for his unique minimalist style? Akira Kurosawa, Alfred Hitchcock, or Robert Bresson? Robert Bresson is the answer. Question 81. Which Hollywood film is considered one of the earliest examples of outstanding feminist films? Vertigo, Some Like It Hot, or All About Eve? All About Eve. Which car is known as the quintessential 50s classic automobile? 1950 Jaguar, 1959 MGA, or the 1957 Ford Thunderbird? The 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Which TV show was a 39 episode sitcom centered around two working class couples in Brooklyn? The Donna Reed Show, Leave it to Beaver, or The Honeymooners? The Honeymooners. Question 84. Which Alfred Hitchcock film is based on the stage drama and is known for its tension? Vertigo, Dial M for Murder, or Rashomon? Dial M for Murder. Which car changed the game in terms of space and overall design? 1950 Jaguar, 1959 Austin Mini, or 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL? The 1959 Austin Mini. Which TV show was the very first family sitcom to feature the mother as the lead? The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp, The Colgate Comedy Hour, or The Donna Reed Show? The Donna Reed Show. Who wrote the first electronic music for magnetic tape? Bobby Freeman, E.T. Mensa, or Louis and Bebe Barron? Louis and Bebe Barron is the answer. Which Billy Wilder film is praised for its heartwarming romance and laugh out loud comedy? All about Eve, Some Like It Hot, or Singing in the Rain? Some Like It Hot. Question 89. Which car is known for its iconic gull wing doors? 1957 Ford Thunderbird, 1955 Mercedes-Benz, or 1950 Jaguar XK150? The 1955 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. 
which neo-Western TV show promoted Christian values, gun safety, and environmental awareness? The Roy Rogers Show, The Adventures of Superman, or Father Knows Best? The Roy Rogers Show. Which song reached second on the charts in 1958? In Cabo Baya, Do You Want to Dance, or Tennessee Waltz? Do You Want to Dance is the answer. Question 92. Which Hitchcock film is known for its examination of obsession and descent into madness? Vertigo? Singing in the Rain, or The Wages of Fear. Vertigo is the answer. Which musical takes place during the transition from silent films to talkies? Singing in the Rain, Tokyo Story, or Dial M for Murder? Singing in the Rain. Question 94. Which TV show featured a family from the Midwest, the Andersons, and was set in the fictional town of Springfield? Father Knows Best, The Roy Rogers Show, or The Days of Our Lives? Father Knows Best is the answer. Question 95. Which TV show featured George Reeves as a titular character and fought for justice, truth, and the American way? Adventures of Superman, Gunsmoke, or The Roy Rogers Show? Adventures of Superman. Which TV show centered on Eve Arden as a sarcastic and sharp-witted English teacher at Madison High School? All about Eve, our Miss Brooks, or something about Eve. Our Miss Brooks is the answer. Which TV show was set in Dodge City, Kansas in the 1870s and centered on Marshall Matt Dillon, The Ed Sullivan Show, The Colgate Comedy Hour, or Gunsmoke? Gunsmoke is the answer. Who wrote the song Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo for the movie Cinderella? Mighty Sparrow, Verna Felton, or Danny and the Juniors? Verna Felton. Which song reached number one on the Billboard Pop Charts for nine weeks in 1950? Tennessee Waltz, At the Hop, or Short Little Shorts? Tennessee Waltz is the answer. Last question, who is credited with bringing Calypso music to the United States? Elizabeth Cotton, Mighty Sparrow, or Mongo Santa Maria? Mighty Sparrow is the answer. And bonus question, who is the iconic blonde bombshell that starred in the 1959 film, Some Like It Hot. Let us know the answer in the comments. Thanks for playing this quiz. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.